you're back with Team Soul and join us on another adventure. We are off on the bus to Port Isaac from Weybridge. We're in Weybridge at the moment. It is Saturday the 17th of July and 7am and we're going to be running from Port Isaac up to Boscastle which should get some pretty good elevation in and um, yeah so a bit of a day out on the trails again. So come along for the ride. start our run so yeah as I said we're heading off to Boscastle which I think is about 16-18 miles um, and yeah we've got a few hours to do it we've got a bus to catch back from Boscastle to Weybridge so yeah should be a good day it's lovely weather beautiful day beautiful day so all good update you were on the uh, North Cornish Cape path today which is you see it's quite a lot different to the south coast um, so the south coast is quite grown in and has a lot of vegetation but this coast is quite exposed so um, it's not as not as narrow and it's more more vulnerable really um, we are heading that way over to Tintagel. Oh, Tintagel, I forget my words out, which is uh, the home of King Arthur. So, should looks like fairly nice running. So, I'll update you a little bit later. You right, John? No. Why? Oh, too hot. Don't mind. It's lovely. No, it's too hot. No, it's a day to be alive in Cornwall. This is what we live for in Cornwall. It's beautiful. Don't get many days like this. No, you don't. It's stunning. We're gonna love it. We've got a lovely bit of downhill coming up now. I'll take you on the ride. Double wrap hills.
I don't know if you can see, but we've got a John Soul down over here somewhere. I mean, this, this scenery is pretty epic. Oh, look at that. Right, cool. All good. Having a good day? Yeah. Good. Twist my ankle three times. Well, you look all right to me. I'm still going. Man up. Dodgy day for it. It's a good day. It's lush. Just can't get much better than this. Um, so Paul and I, are, well, I'm actually on it. We've stopped at the moment, but we're doing double hills because we uh, figured that, um, you know, no distress to John, but he, he's a little bit less confident than us on the the coast path so we tend to get a fair bit of distance between the two of us and um so or the three of us even and um so we Paul and I figured that we'll just go up and down the hills and uh we tend to meet him then as he's coming back up so we're just going up and then we'll run back down I think we've actually gone the wrong way we're doing a bit of a euro line something I didn't advise in my last video um, so which is pretty much straight up a grass bank and not the case path so there we are it's cool so it's pretty epic yeah pretty epic so um yeah we'll run back down oh just found the path here's the path so now we'll go back down and meet John. it to Tintagel. Um, unfortunately we remember down. John's had to stop at the last um, little village a couple of miles back having a bit of a rough day so he's gonna stop there and, and get the bus from there but we're gonna crack on to Boss Castle maybe get a little bit further than Boss Castle which is about three or four miles and uh, yeah but pretty awesome views here huh?
finishing a run on the road. <laughs> Great fun. Hi. So we made it to Boss Castle. Now I don't know for people who are not local, Boss Castle is where they had some major flooding. Uh, I think it was about 2004. Might have been before that. Um, but it was pretty bad. Um, yeah, some lots of damage and things done. So yeah, so but it's beautiful now, really nice. So we are off to see if we can find a chandy and an ice cream and wait for our bus back. So Today, uh, that was 15 miles with nearly 4,000 feet of elevation, and it was a really tough section actually. Um, I'll try and put up the elevation profile, but it was, um, yeah, it's a lot of like very steep ups, very steep downs. It's very different to the South Coast path on the north, um, and yeah, tough, tough, really, really tough. I mean, tougher than in the mountains, really, because in the mountains you kind of spend two hours just going uphill and then you run down. But here it's a kind of relentless up and down slog. So uh, yeah, a, a tough day, tough tough morning anyway. It took us just over three and a bit hours, I think. So not too bad. Um, it's very hot weather. So yeah, tough. So I thought uh, just do a little sort of update whilst we were waiting for our bus back to Weybridge. All's itching. Got the itchy, itchy legs. legs. Got some light metal rash and stuff today. It's quite, it's a bit overgrown in some places. Well, it wasn't too bad. It was just a bit rambly. Um, anyway, so we are this week off to Snowdonia um, on Wednesday for two days to do some recce and for UTS. Uh, in six weeks time and then next weekend we're off to the Ultra X Running Summit in Basingstoke um, Saturday night and that's just like a bit of fun really a couple of beers and stuff be a mile a um, bit of running so we're gonna go there and have some fun and then the weekend after that is a 20, uh, 24 12 it's called which is a um, mountain biking race um, Paul's doing a 12 hours team event on that weekend so it's not just a one trip pony he can mountain bike as well um, and I'm doing a, now a half marathon which is actually 15 miles on Dartmoor um, that day and then the weekend after is the rat so that's the, the plans for the next couple of weeks so we'll be sure to be taking you along um, and showing you some of the UTS course when we recce it next week because um, I think it might be a bit tough but we're hoping for some good weather, it should be nice um, getting the tent out again. It's been a long time since we've been in the tent, so it'll be good fun. Yeah, anyway, thanks for joining us today and enjoy the sunshine, everybody. Make sure you stay hydrated if you're out on the trails, and we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! See you next time.